Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today in our Euphoria Chalk um, webinar. So my name is Oscar Salas, and I'm an implementation consultant for TriStar. And I will be talking to you guys today about this um, tool that uh, the PTC has, that's uh, Euphoria Chalk, right? For um, so we'll discuss some of the uh, of the capabilities of the tool, some of the benefits that, that we have and that we get with uh, with this tool, part of the um, AR uh, suite uh, that the PTC has, right? Uh, we have a, a expert capture and uh, before your studio as well. So we'll, um, again, uh, we'll talk today about uh, before your talk. Um, again, I wanna thank you for, uh, for joining today. Um, there is a, um, the ability for you guys to type any questions. So if there's there are any questions, we'll um, you can type them in, and then we can um, address those towards the end of our uh, of our webinar today. Um, <clears throat> again, um, if you guys don't know TriStar, which I, I think uh, some of you are already familiar with us, but we, you know, we've been in business for about 25 years. Uh, we do a lot of, you know, we're a PTC reseller, of course, um, the the largest reseller um, in North America, and um, we do a lot of PLM consulting, right? So we're experts in PLM. We do implementations, uh, training, support, right? That, that's a lot of, uh, of what we do. And now, we, of course, we got this um, AR uh, ability as well to, um, to support you guys with, uh, with these new, uh, new products at PTCS. Yes. So that's, um, that's what TriStar is. And what, today, uh, what we're going to cover today um, is going to, uh, we're going to go over some of the challenges that we can, uh, we can address and how we can solve those uh, those challenges by using for your talk um, capabilities. Um, then we'll take a look at a um, at a demonstration, and we'll look at the uh, at the uh, at the benefits that this will bring um, to your to your business. Right? Again, any questions? We'll address those towards the end, and feel free to you know type them in as they um, as they come up. So first of all, um, there's of course always um, the market pressure, right? We we need to. Uh, solve problems fast, uh, and um, sometimes we got a um, a skill gap uh, between our workers, right? So we got some probably new talent that's coming into um, into our company um, that they need to get ramped up pretty quickly, right? Um, and you know sometimes we're having people, you know, we're having them shadow experts, and then you know it takes a while for them to to fully um, get on board and and uh, you know become comfortable with uh, supporting our products. Um, so that's that's one one of our challenges, right? Um, also, um, our products every every day become more complex, right? Um, the workspaces as well. Um, so you know, the, these technicians now need to know a lot more on on these uh, complex products, and they need to be very efficient um, whenever um, they encounter these um, sometimes new issues that that we don't even um, know about, right? Um, also, our customers are more demanding. Right, uh, service providers can meet and beat customer expectations, uh, you know, by by you know providing a faster service. So what um, what can uh, before you talk provide, right? So this is a uh, real time uh, remote assistant collaboration tool um, that is going to allow you to accelerate your problem resolution. Right? Um, it's going to empower your workforce um, to solve unexpected issues. Um, at the same time, it's going to help you reduce the cost of the technician and um, expert visits on site, uh, improve uptime and operational um, efficiency, and also increase the employee safety and compliance. Right? Those are those are going to be the main the main things that we get uh, by using uh, before you talk. Now, how does um, before you talk um, work? Well, um, that's going to give you the ability to give um, live over the shoulder collaboration. Uh, on mobile, tablet, and desktop devices. Um, it's gonna give you a combination of live video, audio, as well as annotations um, on a shared view. Um, markups um, are gonna be on the real world with precise anchored annotations. So it doesn't matter where you know, um, the technician moves, once the annotation is created, the annotation remains on the 3D space, right? So um, as the technician moves and, and, and shows um, the expert, the, the you know, um, the, the, our, our, the 3D space, um, the expert's gonna start creating those annotations um, and then, you know, the, the technician can just follow it. Um, also, the expert can, you know, use uh, wayfinding arrows to guide um, the onsite technician, right? Just say, hey, you gotta move over here, go up, right? So, so that way, 
um, they can do this. And towards the end, um, they, they can uh, document resolutions with uh, session summaries. Okay, so those are, um, you know, kind of in, in pretty general terms how the tool is going to work. And now, what are some of the capabilities? One of them is a uh, uh, hosts, right? So you can you can be a host, and um, similar to any any other of the uh, of the tools that we use for like uh, like meetings, right? Where, um, for example, this go to meeting, you don't need to be a a paying subscriber um, to log in as a guest. So it'll be um, it'll work on a similar way where you know maybe the expert is going to be able to be a host, and then the technician now can join. Um, the session as as needed without the need of um, having a um, a connect uh, a um, login or registration that's needed. All they they'll need to do is maybe um, have the um, the app on on their mobile device. Right? The other um, capability we have the chat for desktop. So now you can have the expert sitting um, at their um, at their desk at their desktop, and um, they don't need to download or, or um, install any applications. Um, they, they can just simply go to the web-based application from there, and they get the same live 3D annotations as they do with a with a mobile device, right? So now the expert will have a little more control. They're working on a on a larger screen. They can see things uh, better, and they can guide the technician um, a lot better than than what can they could do with a uh, with a mobile device. Of course, they they can still use the mobile device, but th this is just another um, another option that we'll have. Sometimes these technicians are going to be working on remote locations where maybe connectivity is not is not a, um, you know very good, or um, it may be that that it, it's unstable, right? So it goes on and off, and you know that that could complicate things. Um, but before your talk, we'll provide you with a low bandwidth mode. Um, with this mode, it it'll um, it'll give you the ability to to continue to work and provide you a a a, a good quality image so that the technician and the expert can collaborate um, without you know having any problems or you know kind of blurry images as you can see here um, on the left side right it'll uh, as you go to low bandwidth mode it, it will uh, provide you with a better image even though you may be working on um, an unstable connection towards the end of your session talk is going to automatically store points of interest um, these points of interest are going to be automatically captured based on the annotations that get created. And <clears throat> this way, um, you know, you can document uh, if there's a solution to a new problem, then you can use those images to document how uh, how that problem was resolved, right? Um, so again, this is a session summary that, that's automatically generated at the end of every uh, every talk um, um, call that you um, that you have. Also, enterprise management. So you have a um, admin center that is going to enable you to do account management for your um, talk users. Now you can run reports and see, okay, how many how many people are actually using um, talk? How can they, um, you know, um, how many hours or how many calls are they are they making um, on on a regular basis? Right. You can also uh, invite new users um, to register, or you can you know you can remove users. So you have full control. Uh, of your users by using this admin center um, in in before you talk as well. Um, when you invite users, they'll get an email, and um, this email is going to again tell you, hey, you have been invited to to join uh, uh, before you talk, and it's going to give them a link to um, to sign up, and it's going to give them the ability to download the um, the apps on on the different devices that they might be may, may be using, right? Now let's uh, take a look at a um, at a quick demonstration here, and um, how this is uh, this going to work. Now, um, on this case, where we have the expert on um, on the left side, and we got the technician on the right side, right? So now the um, the expert um, is going to, you know, um, or in this case, the technician is going to start um, the conversation or the session. And the expert is going to be able to um, to join. So we're going we're going to be able to see how um, <clears throat> how talk is going to um, to help uh, again our technicians or experts uh, collaborate um, in this um, different um, you know um, different sessions, different problems. So notice how uh, right here what we're doing is we're um, the technician is now um, starting a session, and now um, the um, the expert is going to um, enter the code. 
and it's going to be able to join. So we're in this case, we're doing it a little bit backwards where the host is going to be um, the technician and the one that's joining as a guest is going to be the expert, right? On a typical situation, you'll do it backwards, but that's, you know, that's how we're gonna see it here. And it is a very simple example where um, now the technicians will need some help, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, fixing this um, smart connected device. So, <clears throat> So once um, the first step that we need to do, or the technician will need to do, is to map the 3D environment, right? So the, the, um, the app is going to guide him. It's going to tell him, hey, you know what? Start mapping this uh, 3D environment. That way, um, our annotations are going to be able to work. So that, that's what the technician is doing right now. And you can see how that's reflecting um, on the expert side. Right, so we can um, we can see that, and um, at this point now um, the the expert can start making annotations, right? So so now that he's got a clear image of uh, of the uh, of the tools and um, and the the item that he's got a service, now he can just simply say, hey, you know what? Um, this this is the bolt that that's going to have to be uh, be removed, right? And he can um, he can circle it and tell it, hey. Right there, you can remove it, and you can see how that's going to start appearing on the uh, on the technician side. Okay. So now I can say, you know what? Uh, now that you know exactly which bolt you got to remove, hey, make sure you unscrew it, and you know what? This is the direction, right? Something uh, pretty simple, but again, we're just using it as an example so that you can see how that's going to um to reflect. So now he knows at this point the technician can just go in and you know kind of set his uh, device um, to the side. Um, he can go ahead and, um, you know, unscrew that bolt and then come back. Um, when he comes back, now you're going to be able how the um, annotations will remain anchored to that to that 3D space, right? So even after he moved away, now he can see those um, those annotations, right? So now, <clears throat> again, at this point, even if he removes um, the, the lid on this device, now he's going to be able to... Um, you know, still see see that annotation, right? Um, at any point, we can clear um, any any of the annotations that are created, and also, at this point, the technician can also create annotations. So maybe he's got a question, he want to point um, to a specific item where he might have questions on. That's you know, um, the technician can also create those annotations and now get him over um, to. Um, to the expert, so the expert can you know clearly see what they're uh, what he's talking about, right? So now after that, he can go in. Um, technician can follow the instructions of the expert, and then they can again uh, solve that um, solve that problem. And you can see there's different colors. There are options for the annotations, right? You can create arrows. You can create um, different types of annotations. So now we can change it. You know, again, they're changing it to a different color here to um, to a red color. Now, again, remember that um, other capabilities that we have, um, one is um, either the technician or, um, or the, um, the expert can at any point turn on um, the light, right? So for the, for the device, so maybe the technician is not getting a clear um, image, at any point he can just enable um, the light so that he can get a, a, a better image. Another thing is, again, low bandwidth mode. If, if the um, technician is at a remote location where you know hard to get connectivity he can enter that mode and he can still um, go in and the last thing we got here um, is once you end um, the session we're going to be able to see how it automatically generates the session summary and it's going to create those points of interest uh, based on the annotations that were um, created during the session so um, again, remember you also have a um, the administrator um, page, right? Where you can go in, you can load users, you can add users, you can remove users. Um, even even if you have multiple users and you want to do them through like an import from a spreadsheet, you can do that. So it gives you uh, some functionality to um, to do it from there, right? So that's um, again um, expert capture, guys. Uh, uh, what are the, the benefits that we get? So the first thing is we're going to be able to reduce uh, operational um, and service costs, right? Um, so you're going to be able to lower the expert technician um, travel cost uh, by, by being able to guide um, other, other technicians um, through this remote um, application. Um, you're going to be able to decrease the machine downtime and reduce maintenance time and cost, right? 
uh, improved safety and compliance. So now um, it's going to be improved guidance for um, new technicians, right? That may maybe are not um, so aware or so accustomed to our um, our safety procedures. Um, the the expert can guide them through um, as they're guiding them. Um, they can you know make sure that they follow those uh, safety procedures. Um, increase the safety or work conditions through through this uh, remote mentoring. Um, in being, being able to increase the work flow, uh, workforce productivity and efficiency. So you're going to be able to drive work, workforce utilization um, through over the shoulder support. Increase the first time fix rate and decrease the mean time to repair. Right? That's going to be another thing because we're going to be able to document um, any uh, of the repairs that we do. Right. Um, next time that happens, then we can always go uh, go back to our documentation. Now we, the expert knows exactly what the problem is, and he's going to be able to guide that technician a lot um, a lot quicker. Um, again, capture any res uh, resolutions for future referencing. If it's a new issue that just came up, now we're going to be able to um, to take advantage of that and be able to document it. Um, lastly, increase customer satisfaction. Right. So we're going to be able to boost the satisfaction by minimizing the uh, downtime and also enabling um, self-service and troubleshooting with uh, remote expert guidance. So those are the main um, benefits that we're going to get through the use of uh, Buforia Chalk. Um, <clears throat> do you guys um, have any, um, any questions at this point? So far, it looks like we don't have any questions. So I'll give you guys maybe a, a minute or so in case um, there, there is a question that you may be typing. Um, in the meantime, guys, um, don't forget to contact us at, um, at TriStar, right? So um, go to our website. You're going to find a lot of helpful information um, on our website. There's a, a um, the contact page on there where you can just send us an email, and then we're going to be able to respond to you. So if you have any um, any questions, you can always uh, always do that. Um, on um, on the handouts uh, for the meeting, um, you're going to get a case study. Um, also, um, you know, once the um, once our um, our session is over, you're going to get an email. On that email, you're going to find a link to register for a free trial of uh, before you talk but you can also go into our website and you can um, you can get registered for a free um, trial from there so again guys if there are no uh, no questions i want um, you know i appreciate your time on this um presentation um don't forget to you know um uh, log on to our next uh web webinars that we're going to um continue to have um Again, any questions after the meeting, feel free to contact us. And um, again, just want to thank you for, uh, for your time today.